17 months ago, thousands stormed the Capitol building in Washington, D.C. after attending a Trump rally. They took over the halls of Congress, trying to force elected officials, including Vice President Pence, to overturn a legitimate presidential election. People died. Former President Trump this afternoon calling it the greatest movement in U.S. history. Tonight in prime time, the findings of the congressional investigation into that insurrection. I Eyewitness News reporter Jim Dolan in the newsroom with a preview. Jim. Well, Bill, for almost a year, the January 6th committee has been trying, mostly behind closed doors, to nail down what led to the riots in the Capitol as the Donald Trump presidency was drawing to a close and just who instigated the violence that day. Tonight, in the first of six public hearings, the committee will begin to show what they've learned and will begin to name names. What sparked it? Who fanned the flames of sedition that burned in the Capitol on January 6th? A congressional committee tonight will begin presenting what it has learned about that day and what led to it. What occurred on January 6th uh, was definitely a dark day for our country. Uh, our challenge is to get to the facts and circumstances that created it. For nearly a year, the committee, with a staff of more than 40 full-time investigators, both Democrats and Republicans, took over a thousand depositions, including some with former President Trump's own family members. Ivanka Trump, I'm told, is is, is quite candid about the fact that she uh, that, 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 that she told her father uh, that he needed to do something to, to get out there to stop the riot. Of course he didn't. The committee says the president watched the riot on TV for three hours before taking any substantive action. It's hard to imagine a more significant and more serious dereliction of duty uh, than that. Set to testify tonight, Carolyn Edwards, one of the first Capitol Police officers to be injured as the rioters stormed the barricades around the Capitol, and Nick Quested, a documentary filmmaker who was embedded with the far-right neo-fascist group The Proud Boys in the days before and after January 6th. Republicans dismissed the committee's findings as partisan. They're not conducting a legitimate investigation. It seems as though they just want to go after their political opponents. The riots were violent and deadly and for a time did disrupt the constitutional process of naming a president. Today, former President Trump described what happened that day this way. January 6th was not simply a protest, he wrote. It represented the greatest movement in the history of our country to make America great again. Tonight, America will begin to see another view. People must pay attention. People must watch and, and they must understand how easily our democratic system uh, can, can unravel. But the job the committee has tonight is daunting with so many pressing matters occupying our attention this summer. The committee and their witnesses will have to seize the attention of the American people tonight with compelling and new evidence of just how close America came that day. If they don't, if they can't, America may just tune out and move on. Bill? Another frightening thought indeed. Jim Dolan with a preview of tonight. Jim, thank you. By the way, Congressman Josh Gottheimer from New Jersey was in the Capitol on January 6th. Coming up in our next half hour of Eyewitness News, we're going to talk to him live about what he's hoping comes from the results of these hearings. And you can watch, of course, the hearings live right here on Channel 7 tonight and on all of our digital platforms. The hearings begin at 8.